Hi there, this is just a standard review of uh, my HP laptop. It's a, I took it out, Pavilion D7C95DX and it says Entertainment PC, but uh, I didn't buy this for entertainment. Uh, this came from Best Buy and I, it was actually a replacement for a Asus that I had bought and you can see the earlier review. I'll put a link down to it below. Uh, I like the Asus because of the simple fact that it uh, was a lot easier to carry. This thing is huge, pretty much needs its own zip code. I mean, it, this, this thing is a monster. But what I bought this thing for is I develop websites, as you know, and I needed a machine that would allow me the space to develop the websites and also a machine because I do a lot of YouTube I wanted to do have a machine that I could do YouTube on and uh, the problem with my main desktop computer if you could say there was a problem is the fact that I it, it wasn't portable I could get in the middle of a job and couldn't go anywhere so essentially when I bought this I decided I was going to make this my go-to machine. I mean this was going to do everything that I wanted it to do and uh, also render video and stuff like that. Now if you don't need to render video and you're a web developer any Windows 98 and above machine will work because if you're just using for example uh, Notepad++ to code in and uh, you're just uploading that through uh, FileZilla FTP you really don't have a need for any speed or anything like that now what this has is a quad-core processor and uh, the earlier machine that I bought had a dual-core processor and I thought for example that you know this dual-core versus quad-core uh, that various programs would run faster on the quad core. It doesn't really seem to be the effect that the programs run any faster. Uh, what I use is Sony uh, Studio. It, it used to be Sony Vegas uh, Studio but now it's uh, Sony 12 Studio or something like that. Uh, I'll get into that in another video but anyway that is what, it, what consumes all of the uh, resources in the machine and what needs a really good resource machine. So I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to, uh, while we're open, I'm going to go ahead and go to computer uh, properties and we'll see the properties on this and we can see that it's a HP Pavilion DV7 notebook PC uh, with 8 gigs of installed memory. It's got a 64-bit operating system uh, what am I looking for? Okay, there it is. Uh, Intel Core TM blah blah uh, at 2.20 gigahertz and 2.20 gigahertz, whatever. Uh, apparently that's sped up through some process or something like that, but it's not going to show in here. Uh, let me go through the features real quick. Uh, I typically keep open anywhere from 10 to 20 windows at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and close these windows out because I want to go ahead and show you a reboot. And also in the background you can see I have uh, Notepad++ running. I also have their version of Excel running which I'll probably uninstall and put my older 2003 Excel. I want to save that. No. And also, I just got done editing a video uh, with Sony. It's not Vegas anymore. It's, uh, let's see, Movie Studio Platinum 12. And it's trial, and I'm going to buy that because that's good enough for me. I don't really need the Pro whatever version, which is, like, costs seven times as much. And also, I have FileZilla open, so I'm going to close that and I think it's time to go ahead and shut down so I can show you the boot up sequence on this. The, uh, the computer itself boots up rather quickly, you know, in my mind, it, it takes about a minute. And there's another neat feature of the boot up, 
which is the uh, it has a fingerprint scanner and you can scan your fingerprint and uh, what's really cool about that is if you have all these private files on your computer and you want to just use uh, the fingerprint scan all right, so it's shut down so let me go ahead and hit the button and you can go ahead and notate the time on the video that I've started to do this but I've hit the button and I'm starting up the computer it's starting Windows whatever right now but while it's doing that let me go through some of the other features it has the Beats audio system which is really good it's not awesome great but uh, I guess that's where the speakers would be but it is uh, really good for a laptop uh, you can hook a better system to it uh, on my standard computer you can see back here I've got speakers and all it's like uh, pretty good system so now it's asking me for my fingerprints so I'm gonna go ahead and roll my finger across that and it worked right away it says welcome sometimes if you roll your finger across it too fast it, it uh, gives you a red message that you know slow down and whatever so I'm already online now and I don't know if you were watching at that point but uh, let me check my network yep my network is connected so all I've got to do is I'm gonna go ahead and open uh, open up Firefox which is what I had open and it had like 10 windows open so all I got to do is just go in here and hit history and restore previous session and all of the windows that I had open are now open again uh, they open to the default I wanted to go ahead and open up my uh, email but yeah uh, as far as processing capability and all that goes I was kind of concerned about the uh, speed of processing a video uh, the one thing that I noticed on processing video is it seemed to me like it was a little bit slow then I went to birth a whale over here my home base system and I processed a video of approximately the same length and where this laptop processed the video in approximately I don't know five to ten minutes this thing I had to go to bed because it took an hour hour and a half to process the same amount of video so yeah the processing speed is great and another thing that I wanted to mention is in in the processing uh, maybe I have my settings set for just way too much quality of video or something like that but in the processing that takes a long time it takes even longer to upload to YouTube and I have a very fast connection so uh, so I'm thinking this thing is working the way it should now the other thing that I noticed about this that I didn't notice on the Asus that I traded in for this is you have a fan exit right here and you could just about warm a cup of coffee off of that fan when you're processing video because you hear the uh, the fan goes in into full-time mode and whammo it's it's throwing heat out of this side of the computer right here uh, it doesn't happen in anything else I do but uh, typically processing demanding stuff now uh, as far as gaming computer goes I wouldn't recommend this for gaming because of the simple fact that it has the onboard graphics which come from Intel uh, that doesn't really uh, accelerate you in Sony Vegas but that's once again that's another video but you do have the fingerprint thing you have the beats audio so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw up a track real quick here and uh, so you can hear and I don't know my particular uh, uh, let's see uh, I mean, this is only going to be as good as, uh... Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. Alright, I'm full volume on this, and... Full volume on YouTube. Okay, I don't want this video to get flagged for, uh, 
copyright infringement or whatever so I'm gonna stop with that but you can get a sense of, of how uh, how strong these speakers are for a laptop for a laptop this thing is great now uh, another thing I wanted to mention on this uh, you can read the specs online but you know you have all of your uh, USB ports you have your uh, uh, HDMI out and stuff like that. I don't really use all of that, so that's, you know, up to you to check that out. But those are your ports and everything. You also have a port for a uh, uh, the card like you would use in your camera or whatever, SDHC, etc. Uh, the, uh, where was I going here? Okay. Yeah, okay, the size of the computer. Now, other than everything else, like I said, this is my go-to computer. It's got a uh, uh, really nice case, which is a brushed aluminum case. Mine's kind of dirty. It's got this little HP that uh, lights up. I don't know if, how that uses battery life and stuff like that. But when you carry it, it almost feels because of the size and everything it almost feels a little flimsy so let's get into battery life now sorry about that let's get into battery life if I unplug this I can generally get probably five to six hours out of the battery however if I'm doing really really processor intensive things it that cuts it down quite a bit so I can get like maybe two hours of video processing or something in that respect uh, I have unplugged it inadvertently and uh, ran a video processing module and next thing you know, whammo, it's, you know, it's down after about two hours. Now in my case, I use a, uh, a mouse that I have plugged in. Uh, I, I don't really care to use these, so I can't really comment on them that much. I mean, it's usable if you're going to take it on the road and use it on the road you know that's not a problem I generally attach a, ma a mouse to everything that I do but once again I just want to say that this has actually taken over my dual screen computer because of the simple fact that I want to be able to take stuff with me where I, wherever I go uh, the uh, dichotomy or whatever it is here is the fact that this computer is so large that you're not going to typically take it with you wherever you go. Now you might, you know, but it's it's not if if you're uh, walking or riding a bicycle, it's not really uh, feasible to take this thing with you. Uh, if you don't have a passenger or or you have open trunk or whatever, yeah, I would take it with me where you know wherever. Uh, but for those people who are either pedestrian or cyclists or whatever, this is not a very great portable machine. But it's a great machine in, certain, in a lot of aspects. It does a lot of everything. And it can actually replace your desktop. And in my case, where I had two 20-inch monitors running dual monitor, and for me to sit sit there and take a 17 inch monitor and pretty much do everything on it as opposed to dual 20 inch monitors you know that that should be a statement right there as far as usability and all and uh, so I would say if you can get around the size issue this is an excellent buy uh, when I got it, it was at Best Buy for like I think 729 or something like that it does everything I want it, want it to do, and it's also expandable. It's got eight gigabytes of on on board memory. It's got a uh, seven seven fifty gigabyte hard drive, which is ample for me. Once I load something to YouTube, I don't need it on my machine anymore. And those are the things that really eat up file size. So I can get rid of those. Uh, if I wanted to up upgrade to 16 gigabytes I could it's about hundred and eighty nine dollars I think at crucial.com uh, I don't feel the need to upgrade from there because I've got a maximum of like four gigabytes on my other machines and that's been ample 
So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's, uh, I, I give it a thumbs up. I think it's a great machine for that level of purchase. You can obviously spend twice as much and get something a little more compact that does the same thing. But for the money, I, I, I really recommend this. And thank you very much for watching. If there are questions I didn't answer, please leave your questions in the comments down below and look for the answers to those in the comments section uh, or in the description section. Thank you.